Okay, good morning, everybody. Okay, so wow, guys, I'm so excited for today and this weekend. It was my boyfriend and I's fifth anniversary on Tuesday, and so this weekend we're going away to like celebrate, but not like going away, we're going out of town. We got a hotel, and I think we're gonna do like a museum or something. But it is Friday, February 26th. Um, it's 8.18 in the morning. I'm actually headed to school right now because I have one class this morning. And then we're gonna come home. I have three papers due this weekend, which is like insane. Um, so I've been working on those all week to try and get them done. I'm not gonna have time to do them this weekend. So I've really been trying. I got one and a half papers done yesterday, but we're gonna head to school because I'm gonna be late if I sit here any longer. I'm gonna tell you about my week a little bit, hopefully without my uh, camera falling down, and then we'll be at school. So, yesterday was very fun. I got to see my BFF, Sydney, and she got a new puppy, Riker. I'll insert video clips here. I don't wanna lose your love tonight. So we got to meet her puppy yesterday and see Sid for the first time in a while. I think since like Christmas. So it was great to see her again. I really missed her. Then on Tuesday, um, the rink that I coach at is actually closing this Sunday. Me and my sister have one of our friends who still um, is on the team that we were on. So on Tuesday, we went to the open public skate and we skated with her. I'll also insert some clips here. Oh, my fingers are frozen. It was, I dropped my phone. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. I'm really glad we did it. And uh, yeah, this week has just been kind of crazy. We've also been babysitting my niece all week, her daycare clothes. So um, that's been hectic. It's just been like a lot this week and I'm excited to kind of relax and get a break. Um, I'm gonna stop vlogging while driving, especially cause I'm using my other hand for this now. Um, and yes, this is a zit on my face. Also, I'm getting a cyst cut out of my face next Thursday or next Friday. So I might vlog that for you guys. And I bought some scar cream and stuff because I really don't want it to scar that badly. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I really missed you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been super active on YouTube. Um, a couple of reasons why. I just really am not having any inspiration. Like, I don't know what to film. Like, I knew I wanted to film this weekend because I was actually doing stuff. But I just feel like my other videos are kind of boring for you guys. And, um... I also just really haven't had time. I'm taking three term classes and they're all coming to an end next week. And it's just a constant workload. So it's been really hard to like find time to set aside just to record and edit. So spring break is next week though. So if you guys have any ideas or something you want me to film, let me know because I'm gonna have time to do it next week. All right, I'm gonna head to school now and stop vlogging. Okay, bye, see you at school. <laughs> All right, so we are at school now. Also, I realized something that I didn't tell you as another reason why I'm really not putting out videos consistently every week is because I got Final Cut Pro. I got the free trial. I don't have enough space on my computer to edit basically um i got the 256 gigabyte and it's not enough space so i need to get an external hard drive and i don't have a job so i can't buy one well i, I mean i could buy one but i really don't want to take money like i really don't want to take out any money i have my first youtube paycheck coming up in march so thanks you guys for not skipping the ads and helping me out so i think with that money i'm going to buy an external hard drive so i can actually like continue to edit more and actually put out videos and then i think with the next like five or six paychecks i get from youtube it'll go towards the camera if you guys are interested i can talk about it like in another video but basically i got monetized on christmas day and it's the end of february and i'm almost at the hundred dollar threshold that you have to meet to get paid out but then you don't get paid out until like the 15th of the following month so like i'll get paid out i think on march 15th for the last three months basically so it took me like three months to make $100, which is not bad because I'm just like doing this for fun. But it is an amazing added bonus and I'm going to use that money to invest back into my YouTube channel and I'm going to buy an external hard drive. 
so that's another reason like that's actually a big reason why i'm not like filming and editing as well but we're here at school now i cleaned my car out you guys want to see the lighting is horrible so i turned the flash on but like i vacuumed everything it's pretty clean now because we are actually taking my car away this weekend we're only going like 40 minutes away so it's really not that far there's a man outside so um I'm not gonna talk too much anyway we're headed like 40 minutes away from where we live so it's not too far but he has a small truck so it's gonna be hard for us to both fit in it and our stuff so that's why we're taking my car anyway i'm just feeling super excited and happy that it's the weekend um now before anyone sees me i'm going to end this vlog and we're gonna go into school Let me at the college. Her friends play my songs and they've been following me. Guys, yeah. I literally almost got hit by a car on the crosswalk. <laughs> Just know she had coffee with me. Yeah. I hear you like pizza and dancing. Love that is not that romantic. Yeah. Class was fun. We did some memory type of activities or whatever. But we have a lot of stuff that we need to do today before we can actually go to the hotel. Alan doesn't get off normally until 3.30. Check-in isn't until three anyway. But I have been doing acupuncture because if you guys don't know, my leg, my left leg is numb and I have a protruding disc and a bulging disc and my L4, L5, L5, S1. So this has been happening for about a year. I've done a handful of things and nothing has helped the numbness go away. I'm really tired of it being numb and I went to my first appointment last week and I really liked the doctor. And he was like, I have someone who's basically in the same boat as you right now and they can feel their leg. So that made me really excited but also really nervous because I'm afraid with the feeling the pain's gonna come back and the pain was like dehabilitating last time. I've been getting tingles in my leg all week, but I have been experiencing some back pain, but I'm wondering if that's because I've been picking up my niece a lot because she's been here every day. My whole family's going. So we have an acupuncture appointment. I think we have to leave at like one o'clock because it's down in the city. So we have to drive kind of far away to get it. And they talked about getting donuts because there's a donut shop nearby. <laughs> so that's at one o'clock and it's probably gonna take a while i don't think we'll be home until like 3 30 anyway i need to be like packed before that but i also have homework that's due today i started doing some of it this morning before i even went to school but then i have like uh and then my dad needs me to take pictures for the online business and it's just it's just a lot a lot go 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 so i really need to stop talking because i need to get home and start doing some homework so um, yeah, okay, a little stressed out, but that's okay. I'm excited for this weekend. It's gonna be fine. I don't need to be stressing super crazily. It's not like I won't have time, like, over the weekend. I will, but I just wanna, like, you know, spend it quality time with Alan instead of just, like, being on my computer. Anyway, um, I'm going home now, so I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, so I am back home. I actually just packed up. Oh, a duffel bag, <laughs> and I'm overpacking like I always do, but I just have some outfits, some lotion, the essentials, makeup, stuff like that. I still need to do like my contacts and my toothbrush and stuff, but for the most part, I'm basically packed. I also have to bring my laptop and a couple of my textbooks just in case I don't get the homework done that I want to today. But I'm feeling slightly tired. I think I'm hungry, but um, yeah, we're gonna keep packing. And then I think I'm gonna go downstairs and help my parents out by taking some pictures for their website. And then I guess we'll do homework and head to acupuncture. So long time no talk because I basically forgot that I was vlogging today. Anyway, um, we went to that donut shop right before acupuncture. It looks super yummy. I tried one of the cake donuts when we got home. 
Oh my God, so good. Then acupuncture went really well. He said all the tingling and stuff and the pain that I'm getting is good. My nerves are basically being woken up again. Um, <laughs> then I had a very awkward conversation with my parents. Um, and I'm 20 by the way on spending the night with my boyfriend. Let me know if you guys also have strict parents because holy crap, that was just unnecessary and uh, made me feel really uncomfortable. Anyway, now that that's done, I'm actually here at Alan's house and just waiting for him to come out. I'm making him drive, oops. And then we're gonna get to the hotel. It's only like a half an hour away. It's just like a little staycation, you know? So we're gonna get to the hotel and then I'll show you guys and then we're gonna get dinner. <laughs> Here he goes, he's so cute. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, I'll see you guys when we get to the hotel. Hello guys, so we are in the hotel officially. It's really cute. I'm gonna show you guys a little tour. Okay, so this is the bathroom. It looks pretty good. I haven't sanitized anything yet, which um, I brought lots of Clorox wipes and Lysol and sanitizing like a uh, cloth and stuff. So it's like really brown, <laughs> but look how cute it is. They put little rose petals cause it's our anniversary and they left us a card. It's my little cutie pie. It's like super brown, which is kind of weird, but and there's like no lights up in the ceiling. There's like one light in the doorway, but whatever. It's kind of cute. So I think we're gonna get, um, after I clean the room down, probably gonna go get Chick-fil-A. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'll update you guys when we do something. Okay, so we're home, or we're home. We're back to the hotel. We got Chick-fil-A. Um, I'll show you what we got. We decided to get shakes and treat ourselves, and then we got our lemonades like we normally do. And then our two number ones. Yep, with Chick-fil-A sauce. Nothing special. There's a Harry Potter movie marathon on, so we're watching that. We're gonna eat some dinner, and then we're just gonna relax. <laughs> So it is Saturday the uh, 27th. Is it the 27th? Saturday the 27th. I slept horribly. There was a huge butt hollow in the bed. I don't ever think I got into REM. So um, that kind of sucked. But we're hungry. It's like 8.30 now. We're dressed for the day. Um, and we're going to go downstairs. And they have like a grab and go breakfast instead of a buffet for COVID. So hopefully it's good. And then there's a Starbucks like right around the corner. So we might walk there if... Breakfast isn't good enough, but we're going to the science center today as well. Neither of us have been together. We've both been separately, but we've never went together. So we're also going to do that today and we're gonna get some dinner. So I'm gonna take you guys along. Sorry I didn't vlog like at all yesterday. Honestly, I was tired and I really forgot, but today's a new day. So it's gonna be better. Last night we just, we got Chick-fil-A, we watched Harry Potter movie marathon, and then we played Rummy. So, all right, here we go. Okay, breakfast has been acquired and it's not very good. I drank my apple juice. I had to take my herb with it for my acupuncture. And then um, I've eaten a couple bites of this muffin so far. And then they gave us a yogurt and a granola bar. So we're just here sitting on the couch eating. So um, we have just been chilling in the room. I've been doing some homework because as I told you guys, I had a lot of stuff to do this weekend. So I finished wrapping up one of my research papers that were due and then I did three discussion questions or discussion responses. So that's pretty good, but it's, what time is it? Is it 11.30? Yeah. It's 11.30. Wow, we actually need to leave in like 10 minutes to head to the science center. So I'm excited. We're doing the mummy exhibit. I'm assuming I can record in there. Probably not all of it, but I'll show you guys a little bit. But we're still watching Harry Potter. <laughs> it's just muted. Um, I think I'm gonna put on some mascara and then we're going to head out there. I'm gonna make him drive. Right? <laughs> Someone died there. <laughs> okay, so we are going into the parking garage. Thank you. And we are headed to the science center now. Spooky, I oh, it smells like cigarettes. Anyway. It's a uh, really bad light. Whoa. Angry. Okay, so now we're out of the darkness of the parking garage, but I'm forcing Alan to drive, and um, it's super nice outside. We at really the like the hotel. Side, turn left onto Fountain Place. I don't and know if I... Roundabout, take the second exit. 
Okay, <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys, there's a giant butthole in the bed, so it was really hard for me to sleep last night. But, um, I feel good. And I got, oh, this kid's now. skateboarding. The oh, there's, oh my gosh. Place. I was gonna record him, but I decided not to. Anyway, um, I'll update you guys when we get there if anything happens on our drive over, because it's like a half an hour. So, uh, we'll see you at the Turn science right. center. Then All right, I don't know if you can hear me, but we made it to the Science Center and we've got like 20 minutes before the exhibit starts, so we're excited! It's so cool here! <laughs> decided to stop in the mall and Alan got himself something from Lulu. He'll show you it later, but now we're waiting in line for Kendra Scott. Okay, so did not find anything in Kendra Scott. It was awfully busy. We're gonna head back to the hotel now and we're gonna like dress up for dinner and then just like eat inside. But um, <laughs> anyway, we're really tired. Yeah, we're gonna head back to the hotel. Okay, bye. All right, so we are back. Alan's gonna try on his little jacket that he got. <laughs> Cute. Um, I did my hair. We're like dressing up to get some carry out and bring it back. But I've got this shirt that I got from Nordstrom. I don't even remember. And just some black pants on. Then I'm just gonna put some boots on. We're gonna go pick up the food. It's called Stony River. So hopefully it's good. It's a little fancy, but we will see. <laughs> So food was super super yummy and we have leftover dessert because the dessert we ordered we did not know it was gonna be that big so they got some piece of carrot cake that was like this tall. Um anyway, super yummy, but we are like I'm bloated beyond max. We're just really tired. Harry Potter isn't on anymore, but there's some really loud kids next door. So hopefully they quiet down in a little bit. But it's only eight o'clock and I think we're probably gonna play Rummy like we did last night and maybe try and find a movie on, so. <laughs> We're getting out of bed. We're going downstairs to get that breakfast again. I slept so much better than I did last night because we turned the bed <laughs> outside in the butt hollow, so I slept a lot better. But we're kind of groggy. Our room's trash, so we need to clean it and check out at 11, and it's 8, like 10, so. All right, everyone. So we got the hotel cleaned up. We got all of our stuff packed up. Alan is heavily wrapped in the Half-Blood Prince right now, and... 
Dumbledore just died, so it's kind of emotional. But um, I'm also getting sad because I really want to live together. <laughs> Um, and now I get to go back home and not live together, so that sucks, but uh, I had a lot of fun this weekend. It was really, really nice, but I think we're gonna get something to eat because we're both really hungry and it's almost, it's like 10.30. I'm not really sure what time it is, but we're getting hungry, so I think we're gonna pick up some food before we go back home. And I said I would drive, so. All right, I'll update you guys probably when we get back home. Hey guys, so we <laughs> got food and we got Starbucks for our little ride home, which isn't long. It's literally like, why is my exposure all messed up? I got a grande strawberry acai lemonade and Alan got a pink drink and he put it inside my Yeti. So it stays nice and cold, but we're gonna drive home now. Update time. So it's almost four o'clock, which is like getting really late, but I got home, chatted with my family for a little bit, showered, I have clean hair now, and I'm currently working on a paper that is due tonight at midnight. Um, I probably have like one more page to write, so I'm almost done, but then I also have two more quizzes that I have to take. Um, so that's like a normal amount of homework for me to do on a Sunday, but like I normally start it in the morning and I didn't start until four o'clock, so I'm definitely gonna be working on this um, a lot later than I thought I was. Um, I got Starbucks earlier, like you guys saw, and then I brought it home and my mom said she wanted Starbucks, so me and Jenna went to Target and picked her up some Starbucks, and I got myself a pink drink for tomorrow morning because I have class and I need to go in. But um, I have a cyst, and it's been there for like three-ish years, two, three years, I don't even know how long it's been there, but I went to the dermatologist for the first time, and he said I can basically let it sit there and wait for it to like fester up, and then I'll have to get like, like a steroid shot and then get it cut out of my face, or I can just get it cut out of my face now, but then there's a possibility that it will grow back which is scary, but um, it's kind of big. But um, yeah, I'm getting that kind of out of my face on Friday, which is kind of scary because I don't want a scar right there on my cheeks. But then like cystic acne also runs in my family and my dad and my older sister have both had cysts on their face that have like blown up and closed their eyes. So I really want to avoid that. I just don't like the idea of being awake. I'll, I'll be numbed, of course, but like, I don't like the idea of being awake and then getting my face cut into. Anyway, I'm gonna keep working on this paper. I'm gonna stop rambling and get back to homework.